The WordPress header sits at the top of every page on your website. As such, it plays a vital role in branding your site, helping visitors navigate, and showcasing your most important pages. This video will show you how to customize headers in WordPress using visual editors and custom code. The easiest option is to use Seedprod with its drag and drop theme builder, but we'll also share several other solutions that work with any theme. Everyone here at Seedprod loves having you part of the community, so please like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos so you don't miss our tutorials and important announcements. Let's get started. So first up, let's look at how to customize headers in WordPress by using Seedprod. The first thing we want to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. We're going to be using Seedprod's theme builder, so you'll need either a pro or elite plan. So you can do so by clicking on get Seedprod and select the plan that makes the most sense for you. Once you have an account, let's go ahead and click on login. On the left hand side, let's enter your email address, a password and click on login. Once you've logged in, let's click on the second tab from the left here called Downloads, and we'll click on the orange button here to download the plugin. We'll also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner, so we can click on that to copy it and then close this tab. Back inside WordPress, let's head over to the left side under Plugins and click on Add New. And at the top, we're going to click on Upload Plugin. Here you can see Choose File. You can click on that and select the zip file that you just downloaded to your hard drive, or you can click it down here if you're using the same browser and drag it and drop it right here. Let's click on install now, and then let's activate the plugin. Next, Seedprod is going to ask you for your license key. Let's paste that right here and verify key. And if everything went well, you should see a green success message. We can close this tab at the bottom. Now we're going to be using Seedprod's theme builder. You might be familiar with the landing pages, but we're going to be using the theme builder today. And now you have two different options from this point. So here we can see all of our theme template files. We haven't created anything yet, so we just see a global CSS. Let's go ahead and open up our main page here, and we can see the default theme. So nothing's changed yet. So here you can create each individual template. So if I click on add new theme template, you could, for example, create a new header and then the type you could select header and to include it on the entire site. And then you could go ahead and create that header from scratch. Now there is a quicker option and it's easier for beginners. We have themes here as well. So let's click on themes and these are pre-made themes that you can just import directly into your website and it'll update the look instantly. So let's just use the starter theme for now. That's the first one right here. I'll click the check mark here and this will import all of the separate pages for you. You. So all of these theme templates have been imported and set up with all of the conditions. So the header is imported with the entire site. Again, if we refresh, nothing has changed yet because we need to activate it. If you're using a live website, be careful with this if you don't want to override anything. Let's go ahead and enable the Seedprod theme by clicking this. You'll see a couple messages here where it's creating your home and blog pages and it's setting those in your settings down here so that they're active. So we'll click OK. And if we refresh, we should now see our starter theme on our website. So what we're focusing on is the header here. So all we have to do is come down and look for our header file. We can click on Edit Design. This will open the Seed Prod Theme Builder. So on the right hand side, we have the visual editor that we can see. And on the left hand side, we have all of our blocks that we can enter into the page itself. We just do that by dragging and dropping them into the page. So for example, if we want a button, let me just drag a button in here and now we have a button. Each element on the page is super easy to customize. We just simply click on one and the options on the left hand side here in the panel will change where you can update that specific block. Since this is a button, it has different options related to a button. If I click on an image, you'll see different options related to an image. Here's a navigation menu, which we don't have set right now, but you can see the different options for that menu. If you click on the menu screen link here, that'll take you to the menus part where you can set up your menu if you like, or you can click and set up a simple one, which avoids the WordPress menus. So I just created a quick one called menu one, and I just put two different elements in there just so we could see it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this button. And now you have complete control over how this looks. So for example, I could select the section, which is that purple part. And we could, for example, change the background. And then I could just save my changes and refresh the page. And there, I've instantly updated my header. Now that doesn't look very good, so we could make some better changes. Maybe we'll go with like a light gray here. Not too different than what it was. We can click on the image here and maybe upload our own image for the logo. Or we could just delete this completely and maybe we want to enter a different layout. Maybe I'll do three columns and I'm going to resize this. Maybe have a logo on the left that's a little smaller. And on the right hand side, we could do maybe a button here and a menu centered or maybe left aligned in the middle. Let's come back to our blocks and I could either use the logo block if I set that in my settings or I could just use an image. So let's look for the image and I'll click here and I'll use my own image and I'm going to select a file and upload a seed prod logo. There we go. I'm just going to select this one and we can see it imported directly into our page. I could also set a link here, maybe just a forward slash that always takes us back to our front page. Next, let's add a menu here. So I'll just click on the search and look for menu. We have a nav menu block here under the advance. I'll drop that in, click the options. Now we have a simple menu here. I could switch to the WordPress menu if we like. 
And here's the menu that I created earlier. If you have multiple, you can drop down and select a different one. We can align this maybe to the middle if you like. You can change the font size if you wish, or you could just go back to default. You can change the space between if you like, and you can also put a divider in between there. So maybe you want a pipe delimiter in between them or whatever you wish. Under advanced, we have different advanced for styling and topography and colors. So we could maybe bold, so it's a little bit bigger. You could make everything uppercase if you like. You could change the font here if you like. You could also do that in the global settings in the bottom left hand corner here. This will take you to the global CSS page. We're not going to do that in this video at the moment. Great. And then on the right hand side, let's go ahead and maybe we can add a button. So we'll come back to our blocks. We'll just come down to the standard blocks. I'll select button and drag that right in here. And we can change this to say maybe order now or whatever makes sense for your website. And we have some subtext that you can see underneath here. I'm not going to use that. Here you could link to maybe your order page or whatever you wish. We have alignment and the size. I might make this a little bit smaller. And we have icons down here. We also have templates so you can change it instantly. And we have advanced topography options, spacing, attributes, and device visibility. You can see that they're not perfectly aligned. So we just have to select the blue row here. And at the bottom, we have vertical alignment. Let's just click on the middle one here. So that's all centered. You can see that everything is aligned up perfectly here. We could also select the section here under advanced. And we can do different things with the shadow. So let's add maybe a medium shadow here. And you can see a little drop shadow. Let's go ahead and save this and refresh the page. And there you go. We can see a simple, basic header that we just created. Now you can get a lot more elaborate with this. You can create maybe another section here, whatever you want to add. So let's go ahead and delete this one. And maybe you don't want to create your own from scratch. We can actually go ahead under the sections here and we have different parts of a website that you can import directly. So if we click on header, we have three different ones that are made here. So these are kind of similar to the ones that I just did. Here's a third one. So for example, you could import this, click on some stuff here, it's centered. We have font size and dividers, lots of different options for the topography. Maybe you want to do the same thing here. And then you could add different options into the page, change the background, and you could add lots of different sections or rows or columns, whatever you want to do. I just want to show you that that sections part is available for you to use. Let's save. And again, if you refresh the page, that is updated as well. So number two, and the second way to edit your WordPress header is with the theme customizer. So right now I have a default theme 2020 installed, which we can see right here by going under appearance and then clicking on customize. This will bring you to a page that looks similar to this. And on the left-hand side, you'll see all of these different options here, but you'll also see a little blue button here that you can click on to give you different options to edit your header. So for example, I could change my site title here. I have the tagline. I could choose to not show that. I could upload a logo here if I wish, and we can edit our menu over here as well. Now the available options depend on your theme, but you can usually open them in the theme customizer and edit them easily. So if you're using a different theme, these may look completely different. You may have more or less options. There is one thing I want to show you at the time of this video. If we come over to appearance themes, there's a new theme called 2022. So if we activate this, you'll notice under appearance that there's no customizer like the last theme. So if we click on customize, it actually has a working beta of a new way to edit headers and sections of your website. I just wanted to mention that in case you clicked on customize or you're trying to customize it and you saw this instead of the first page that I showed you. Number three is to customize headers in WordPress with a header plugin. So we're going to use one called insert headers and footers plugin. Let's go over to plugins and add new. Let's do a search for insert headers and footers plugin. Here we can see insert headers and footers by WP beginner. Let's go ahead and install this and activate. Now on the left hand side, under settings and insert headers and footers. So here we can insert scripts into the header, scripts in the body and the footer. So here you could enter maybe custom CSS, some custom JavaScript, which you can then use to customize your header. This is a simple plugin that lets you insert code like Google Analytics, custom CSS, Facebook, Pixel, and more to your WordPress site, header, and footer. And there's no need to edit your theme files. And the simple interface plugin gives you one place where you can insert scripts rather than dealing with dozens of different plugins. And lastly, the fourth way is to customize WordPress header code. And this is an advanced option. So if you're an advanced user, you can customize headers in WordPress by using your own custom code. You'll need working knowledge of HTML, PHP, and CSS for this method. To edit your headers code, let's go over to appearance. And then we're going to look for theme file editor. This will give you a warning. You can click on I understand. And we're going to look for your style.css file or your header.php file. So here at the top, we can click on style.css. And this is your CSS file that you can edit. You can scroll down and go through it. This specific file is quite large. And if you look for the header.php file, right here we have theme header. We can click on this. And you can see the code here that you can enter or change based on your needs. Most people who want to customize their headers are more interested in updating their site's look than what happens behind the scenes. So you'll likely focus most of the attention on your header's CSS. 
I hope this video helped you learn how to edit headers in WordPress. The easiest way to get complete control over your header is with SeedProd. It offers a visual drag and drop header builder. You don't need to edit any code or theme files directly, and you can customize your header from right inside the WordPress dashboard. Please head over to seedprod.com to grab your copy or click the link in the description below. Now that you know how to customize headers in WordPress four different ways, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to create a beautiful minimalist blog for writers, which will show you the basics of creating a complete website from scratch with Seedprod. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.